And today I wanted to talk about success, what it is, how you define it and how you celebrate it. Hey designers, welcome to the HGDC Hub. I'm Heather and this is a channel for crochet designers, new and aspiring, who want to learn how to build income streams within their crochet business. So I am a full-time crochet designer and I am also the person behind HG Designs Crochet. And today I wanted to talk about success, what it is, how you define it and how you celebrate it. So what is success? Well, success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. And you can apply that to any aspect of your life, whether it be school, parenting, or in this case, your business, your crochet business. And as you can imagine for each person, that is going to look wildly different. Success in your mind is going to be influenced by a whole number of factors from well-being, wealth, to measures such as lifestyle factors, to titles, there are so many different factors out there. And of course, it's gonna look different for you, for me, and for the next person. So why is it important to set your measure or your definition of success? Well, Within your business, you are going to have aims and goals. And it's really worthwhile taking a bit of time to sit down and write those out and to really get to grips with what it is that you're aiming for. Because if you don't, then you'll find part way through that you will start to give way to more negative mindsets such as envy, when you're comparing yourself to somebody else's apparent or perceived success. Um, overwhelm, self-comparison, fear, anxiety, and all of that can be really, really demotivating. And it will mean that you're no longer putting the best part of yourself into your business and your own success because you're too busy looking at somebody else's or maybe doubting yourself. Um, and ultimately that might lead to you giving up, no longer pursuing your dreams or closing down your business and none of us are here for that so that's why i recommend that you set your own definition of your own success it's really important when you're setting your definition of success to consider your why so i have a why for hddc and for the hub a why as to why i am doing what i am doing and i'm going to read both of those to you now so for HD Designs Crochet, which is where I release my crochet patterns, my why is to incorporate handmade into my wardrobe, to celebrate and use my skills and talents, and to curate an aesthetic that is visually pleasing as well as satisfying, um, and also to create style and show up intentionally as me. I want to, within HD Designs Crochet, help other people reach that as well so i want them to be able to wear their own handmade items i want them to make items that they feel are stylish and that are long lasting and within that i want to teach them how to do that which is why i put out tutorials so that my patterns can be made now for the hgdc hub my why is to teach others you potential designers aspiring designers to step into your potential. A big part of my why for HGDC, the hub, is to change society I for the better. I want to be able to teach other women how to generate their own income streams so that they have more freedom, they have more financial freedom, they have lifestyle freedom and so that they can be present to do the things they want to do, whether that's raising a family, taking care of somebody else or doing the things they want to do for them. And I know that that will make a huge difference for themselves, their family and their community because for themselves, they will be able to say no to a toxic work environment or they will be able to say yes to 
opportunities they want to pursue because of having financial backing elsewhere. It also means that their family will see them fulfilled, happy and satisfied. And that can only be good for everybody's relationships. It also means that if you have children, that you can teach them a more positive mindset on money, um, that you can really support your children and teach them that you don't have to go to university. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I am a university graduate myself, but there are so many different ways out there that you can pursue your own career. And then also for every crochet designer that is out there, eventually they may choose to take on members of staff whether that be sample knitters or crocheters, tech editors, virtual assistants, you never know how many members of staff they might take on and that will make a huge impact on their community as well. So now I've shared my why for HDDC and for the hub. Take some time to sit and figure out your why for your business so that you can help use that to define success for yourself. It's also really important when defining success for yourself to adhere to your values because there's no point selling out on what it is that you hold dear or that truly means something to you for the sake of other goals because it's not going to feel good when you get there. So for example, one of my values for the hub is community. I want a community for crochet designers, new, aspiring, and all the way up to the big names that we all know so that we can share the trials, the tribulations and the successes that we go through day to day. Now, there's lots of other factors to consider as well when defining success for you. You might want to consider your financial responsibilities and again, everybody's differs. So you might have children, you might not have children, you may have an elderly member of your family or a relative that is dependent on you, you may depend be you may be dependent on somebody else but consider your financial responsibilities maybe your income goals um, you also might want to consider your cash flow and moving away from the finance side of success because success does mean wealth but it also means well-being you might want to consider lifestyle factors such as time um, jobs or opportunities that you want to pursue it might be going back to study it might be a certain status have a really good think about what success means to you so as another example for the hddc and the hub combined my goal is financially is to replace what was my day job's gross monthly salary and i have set myself the goal to do that within a month and then within one week, within one weekend and one, then within one day. And once I reach that, then I've got another goal set and I will then go for, for that goal in the one month, then in one week, then in one weekend and then in one day. Now for you, that, could, that figure could differ wildly and you might just need that monthly, you might um, break that down and know what you want to make daily it's entirely up to you but you need to get to grips with your figures on what works for you and I will do another video entirely on the finance side of it um, how I set my income goals and um, how I saved and prepared for going full-time as a crochet designer then alongside my income goals was also financial freedom now as I said, I have saved before I came, became a full-time crochet designer so that I had money put by. Um, I also plan on continue, continuing to add to this throughout my time as a crochet designer. And again, that will look different for each person. And then another factor is well-being. So for me, my definition of success is to be able to drop everything and go and sit in the sunshine and crochet when I want to. My definition of success is being able to pick who I work with, curate the team that I work with, so that our values align, so that I'm in a really positive, supportive environment. I no longer want to 
work for companies that might be toxic or where the values don't align with what I want. I want to choose the times that I work. In the summer, I get up really, really early when the sun rises and I will happily start work at 5 a.m. and possibly finish at two in the afternoon. Whereas in the winter, I'm more likely to want to start at about 11 and finish by three o'clock. And for me, I'm successful in what I do because my job gives me the flexibility to do those things. I also want to be able to take Albie for a walk as and when I feel rather than on a set lunchtime. Um, Another factor for me is that I really, really enjoy and adore having my evening meals with my partner Brad and for me that's a non-negotiable in my life and so for me being successful is doing my day-to-day -day tasks and then in the evening is taking some time to talk about our day, to eat a meal together, clean up and then spend some time in the evening. And again, that's going to differ for every person and that's why it's so, so important to set what your definition of success is because you might not be a big fan of the evening meal time, but you really, really, really want to be there to put your children to bed. It's entirely up to you, but you need to get really, really clear on what means success to you so that you can pursue that and so that you can feel like you've accomplished your aim or purpose at the end of each day, at the end of each week, at the end of each month, so that you feel happy with what you are doing and that you feel fulfilled and satisfied. If I wasn't to set my measures of success, I could very easily become quite envious of other people, potentially looking at what they might post on social media and think, oh, well, they seem to have got more sales than me, so they must be more successful. It doesn't take away from my success what somebody else is doing, and I know that, but I also recognise that it's a very easy mindset to slip into. Whereas I know that as long as I'm hitting my income goals and for me I'm successful, as long as I have the lifestyle flexibility that I want, that I'm successful. And so I really encourage you to get a piece of paper or the notes in your phone and write down the little milestones that mean success to you. Whether that is being able to buy a Chanel handbag at the end of the month, whether that is being able to buy your weight in yarn every day don't know where you'd keep it but show me if you've got a stash that big whether it's being able to purchase a yarn advent calendar when you want to when you see them being advertised whether it's purchasing a yarn advent calendar from every small business that you see because for you that's what your cash flow allows and that's what you define as success then that's really really important and by us taking the time to do that, it means that we can be really clear and really focus on what we want for ourselves. And it means that as a community, we are a lot stronger and that we will support one another. And you know, I'm here for all of that good stuff. Once you've set what success means to you, it's then a lot easier to work towards it as well. Going back to the example of wanting to be home so that I can have my evening meal with my partner, for me, success is being able to down tools at half five in the evening and from half five to half seven spend that with Brad. And so I then wouldn't choose to take on a commitment within my business. That means that I um, can't then do that at half five to half seven. For example, um, take on an obligation such as a podcast where I have to record at that time or something along those lines. Um, I wouldn't schedule a live event at that time because I want to be eating with my partner and so for me I don't feel bad in saying thank you but no thank you to those events because that isn't success to me. So can you see how by being clear on what my factors of success are, what I want to keep protected and what I want to work towards, it's so much easier to then set up a business that you do feel successful within. Once you've got your success defined it's also a lot easier to break that down into action points so going back to my income goal of replacing my gross monthly salary from my day job through my business as a crochet designer i have a spreadsheet and that breaks that down into action steps so for example i know 
that the gross amount is X, Y, and Z. And I'm going for the gross amount as a side note because my day job used to pay my taxes, income tax, national insurance, pension, student loan, etc. Whereas now I need to pay that myself. So my income goal is, for example, a thousand pounds. And I know that I can sell 167 patterns at six pounds and get there or thereabouts a um, thousand pounds give or take fees. From there, I can break the 167 down into I need X amount per week or day, or I could say that I'm going to release two patterns. And so I then need to sell 84 of each of those patterns per month. Um, I can then also look at my other income streams and say, okay, I get 200 pounds on my Patreon. So I can add that money in, I get 50 pounds from my YouTube AdSense, so that can be added in. And then you can really start to work towards what it is that, me that success means for you. Whereas if I didn't have a goal, then potentially I could have 10,000 sales, but still be unhappy because I feel like there's another website out there doing bigger and better than me. But if I'm sat there comparing myself to the sales that take place on Lovecraft, I am not Lovecrafts. My success goals are not the same as what theirs are. Same with my goals and not the same as another designer. In summary, define what your why is, what your values are, and what your success milestones are. And then work towards breaking that down so that you can reach those and be happy within the business that you are working in. Whether that be a side hustle or whether that be um, a full-time gig, I still recommend that you take those steps. Okay designers, that is everything for today's video. I hope you found it really, really useful. If um, you have, then please drop an emoji in the comments just so I know how many people this is getting to. Maybe put the emoji for um, the ball of yarn in the comments so that I can like it and get back to you. Okay, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! So for example, my income goal is to replace the net goal, the net, no, no. Come on, I know you can say this. I need to think of some better, some better examples, really do.